Hello? Miss Chris asked, and Kennergy must answer. Five foods I hate. Huh? Okay, let's see. I can do that for you. Um, let's start. Let's start with cooked vegetables. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like uh, my veggies cooked. I like a nice, raw, crisp vegetable. I love a nice, crisp, fresh salad. Cold and crisp. That's the way I like my fruit and veg. Not not soggy, like, just gooey, messy, disgusting, putrid kind of stinky, nasty stuff, if you get the idea. Um, yeah, so 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 there, there's number one. And it's not just a food. I'm giving you, you know, I mean, I, 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 see, I could have cheated. I could have just, like, given you five answers. I could have just said, you know, broccoli, spinach, uh, peas, and, yeah, I could have just given you five veggies. But I'm not... I'm not going to do that to you, Chris. I'm, I'm going to give you five broader answers than that. Uh, so let's see. Number two. Number two, let's say, let's give another broad one. Let's say fish. Not seafood, because I love the shellfish. Love those shrimp. Love that. The crabs and the, and the you know, some nice fried clams and some, you know, what, lobster? you got to have the lobster. Oh, yeah. Uh, so so not seafood, but, but fishy fish. Um, not wild about most uh, fish. Um... Yeah, and I could tell you a story about you know being traumatized as a child by my uncle, the fisherman, who would drag these things into the house, all stinky and flopping about. And my grandmother hacking their heads off, and I could tell you a story about that, and that's why I don't eat fish, and uh, my brothers as well. But um, but I'm, I don't need to waste your time with that. So uh, so cooked veggies, fish number three. Um, I see now that I've gotten rid of those two broad categories. Uh, and mo most other categories I'm good with, you know, uh, so let's see, I'll have to, oh, oh, okay, okay, Here, here's here's one in particular, see, see, okay, I, I did not mention red meats as a broad category, because I love, I love the meat, love the meat, but I'll give you a meat I do not understand, okay? Well, now, some people ob object to tongue. I do not object to tongue. They say, oh, it's been in somebody else's mouth, uh, you know, okay, I don't object to tongue. It's meat, it's, it's okay, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. The meat I do not understand is tripe. Okay, tripe I do not I don't get it. it it's it's not in a lot of food, but it's in some. Um, here uh, the San Jose region has a very large Vietnamese population, and there's a lot of tripe in Vietnamese food, and I don't I don't get it. Tripe is the lining of the cow's stomach. Stomachs are designed to not digest themselves. By design, stomach material cannot be digested. That is what tripe is. It is something that is designed to not be digested. I do not, I just don't understand eating something that literally cannot be digested. It's just, uh, it's absurd to me and I refuse to eat it. Uh, okay, so that's, <laughs> what am I up to? Uh, so four, four, I'm up to number four. Um, okay, again, I love the red meat. I love, the, you know, give me a good roast. Give me a steak. Give me, give me some red, juicy meat. Juicy, red meat. What I'm not wild about, I'm just not wild about it, is uh, a stewed beef. You know, I think it uh, kind of pulls all the life out of a, you know, take a nice, beautiful piece of meat that if you, if, you, if you grilled it or something, it would be so yummy and fabulous. And you just like, like boil it down till there's nothing left but the stringy fiber. There's no flavor left. There's just nastiness. And um, it's, you know, I mean, I'll eat it if I, if, uh, you know, but, but, it just, it, to me, it just seems like a waste of a good piece of meat. And, um, you know, that, that, that's a crime. That's a crime. Uh, okay, uh, so that's four, five. What's the fifth thing that I do not like to eat? Um, boy. Okay, well, this isn't necessarily something that I don't like, but something that I have to be careful of is, um, is, is things which are too acidic. So, like, spicy foods, I have to be careful. Uh, and it's not because of the spice; it's because of the acid. And it took me a long time to figure this out. Like, um, like, like, like a raw green pepper will 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 knock me out. I'll be I'll be burping that up for days, you know, because that is pure acid. But but a uh, but a roasted jalapeno is much spicier. But the roasting it gets gets it does it's less acidic. So, so there's something I got to be careful of, not as I don't like, but, but I've got to, with the spicy foods, I got to be careful of the acid level, <sighs> whatever. Uh, 
All right, so there's five foods I ain't wild about, and now I, I believe I'm supposed to tag people. I'm supposed to tag people and ask about their picky, picky, picky eating habits. Uh, so who am I tagging? How about... Um, I'm going to pause this while I uh, think about this. I'll, I'll be right back. And the lucky five who must tell us about their picky, picky, picky eating habits are uh, Rick Autistic, uh, NorCal Corsello, uh, Batim, and uh, let's see, 21st Century Cat, uh, with or without Mr. Funny. And um, let's see, Oprah. Okay, I... I I lost count. I think that we'll leave it at that, whether it's five or not. Uh, thank you for joining me on this, uh, I don't know, 